Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Me and Roxanne are finally gonna get out here and start laying down some of these somewhat plans where the house is gonna go. We have to move some of this brush around though. Craziness, but that's okay. So we're out here in the clearing. Got some stuff. It rained last night. Yeah, it rained pretty hard yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> but we want to start marking out roughly where we think the house might go and the shed, so we can get somewhat of an idea of where the foundations and stuff has got to go. And a look. And so we can like step back and look at it and be like, oh yeah, that looks good there. Or no, let's move that over here. Because I mean, we got to work around all these trees that we left, you know, which is fine. Yeah, we want the trees. We want the trees. <laughs> like I love that big pine right there. Yeah, well, I love the big oak. And that big oak tree that you guys seen. <laughs> love it. We got to move all these branches now. I just thought about that. All right, so we moved the branches again. I know it's counterproductive. <laughs> I know it's counterproductive, but we weren't thinking about that. We thought they were gonna be burnt already, but then it started raining and all kinds of stuff's been going on, so we didn't have time. Yeah, and I tried to burn it. And it yeah, and it wasn't dried out enough to burn. So we were waiting, and then of course it rains last night, so. Yeah. Our house is gonna be around here somewhere. We're trying to figure it out right now. This tree right here might have to go. Yeah, we've decided we might have to remove this one. Yeah, this one might have to be gone. So we could get the house more that way. Yep, because our road, see like where the flatbed and the log splitter is, this is our road coming in to our area, right? And so this right here is kind of the marker all the way to that big tree right here. So basically like here over is, you know, me and Roxanne's area, our cleared area. I mean, Melanie and Gary, they got all this down here that they, that they cleared. Um, but anyway, we don't want our house to be right up on the road. You know, when we put gravel and stuff down here, so when the road will come in, what are you thinking, babe? Like our front door is like right over here? Yeah, but, um, I mean. Well, okay, so you guys know we're doing the 16 by 48 and then a 12 by 20 separate. And I'm doing a 20 by 20 slab. And that slab is gonna be poured over here area the way we're kind of designing it. And what I was thinking, and I know you said parking right up here. Yeah, I was thinking right there. But think, right? So what if we came up the road and we drove to the back like this, and then that back end slab that's extra, wait, what if we park on that slab? The, Behind the, I'm just saying. Yeah, no, it's a great idea. The only thing is, is if you put the road in down here, you're cutting this portion literally in half. We have to put the road here. There's nowhere else way to get in here. Well, I was saying, I thought we put the road in just a little bit and then have it go to over there to that side. So it's literally down and around. And then so just in and then just like this and yeah. leave this dirt? Not dirt, but. Yeah, we'll plant grass or whatever we decide we're gonna have in the future. You okay. Know. All right. I mean, that's just my thought, but if you, I'm I was just, I was only thinking of that because the slab is going to be there and the shed that's going to be on it is not going to be as big as a slab. But I mean, we can use, I also thought of using the back end of the slab that the building's not on and building a lean to, and that's where we store our fire, firewood. That's another idea too. So, I mean, it that's, would help, yeah. yeah. So that's maybe great. that's, so maybe, I mean, if you want that still over there, I'm down with that too. I just worry about the road splitting our, 
our half in half. Okay. Well, then let's not do that then. That way this is all open. Okay, if that's what you want. This is all grass kind of a thing. Yeah, grass. Um, if we're gonna have animals, you know, there may be a point where we need to put them in the front versus in the backyard. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, you're right. All right, well, let's get some let's get some roundabout marking of where the house might go. Mind you guys, like I said, this tree might be gone. I think this tree is going to be gone. So if we mark around it, just know that obviously the tree is not going to be there. So don't think like, oh, your tree is going to be in the middle of your house. Don't think that. Is what? Okay. So the front door would. Yeah. So the front door. Yeah, somewhere right around and probably back a little bit more, but kind of about where I'm at. Roughly. Would you agree with that? Yeah. You can see what it looks like. Okay. All right. We're starting. Just for now. Let me grab another steak. Man, my pants aren't staying up, guys. I gotta get a new belt. <laughs> I'm losing all kinds of weight. This is all roughly. Okay. So this is rough estimate. This is not staking it for a foundation guys this is just getting a look yeah we're just getting the the feel for how how what it's going to look like in this area how big it's going to look we need to move it back yeah where is it going to lay we haven't even decided yet plus i want to get a feel for what it's going to look like when i drive up the driveway and see it there how big it is Dang those bushes, dude. Of course, the bushes are in the <laughs> Yeah, they're in the way. Oh well, we'll just stake it in there. Move the ones that are gonna be in the way. Cause they'll be just barely in the way. I guess it's a good time to come out here and do this. Ground's all soft. Yep. It's not perfect. perfect it is not. This is just to look and see how it's going to look. Yeah. Where it's going to lay. Where we think it should lay in our minds. At least what we're thinking. Burning my finger. <laughs> yeah. Look guys, I don't know if you can really see it in the camera, the lining. There's one stake over to that stake. There's the rope over that one. It's humid today guys. Yeah. In that rain yesterday. It was pouring yesterday. Oh my goodness. Thunder, lightning, all kinds of crazy stuff. Yep. So sitting here staring at it and discussing, we're like, how are they going to get it in here? So we think uh, they're going to have to come in, you know, the driveway, come around. So we might have to get this tree out as well. Get this tree out and get this one out is what we've, we're have we thinking in our minds right now. Now that we kind of got it laid out a little bit, kind of see what's going on. 
It's looking good though. We're gonna go measure the smaller shed that we want to put in for the gaming room or family room. That's what I'm gonna call it. The family room. The family room. <laughs> All right, so that's like a 12 foot deck out. Yeah, from here. Yeah, so this is to here. the corner of the other shed. And it is a 12 by 20, and it's gonna be, let's see, the door is gonna be over there. So it's 12 by 20. All right. 12 by 20 is a lot bigger than I thought in my mind, at least. <laughs> what you got all laid out. <laughs> so yeah, like Anthony was saying too, I think this pine definitely needs to go. It's like smack dab in the middle. Because realistically from here to, from here to here, this is our deck right here. That will be our deck area. You know what I just thought of? wait till Anthony gets over here so my idea was that I was thinking this little area right here where the dogs are loafing <laughs> I was thinking it's, this could be deck, it would be a deck but we could seal it off in the back or put lattice or something just on that one side we can have our laundry room right here yeah, I mean it's not gonna be this big on, right on the deck? yeah it would be on the deck So I think, um, yeah, if I remember correctly, so this side is our room side. So our room would be here. And then I was thinking the washer and dryer can just kind of go up. I know it won't take up this whole space. I know that. <laughs> but at least it would be here. The thing is, is you have to make sure you get the plumbing and stuff hooked up. But if our bathroom, here, hear me out, yeah. If our bathroom's on this side of the room, right, and we have the laundry room here, you could put it in right there. All right, after some careful consideration some with my partner in crime. Right, no. So we're looking, right, guys? So I don't know if it's how hard it is to see the string on here, well, but here, I'll, I'll you know, I'm going to put some flags on it. But anyway, so right in between, right? This is 12 feet, but after looking, I got to pour a slab for this other shed. It's a 20 by 20. This is only a 12 by 20 right now. Well, if I do that this way, what we're thinking, we're going to hit this tree. See? It's not enough space to go over that way. So I'm thinking we might have to move the shed the family room shed another like four feet down which is okay and then it'll fit the slab will be able to fit in between these two trees no problem plus what we weren't considering and this is why it's a good thing to lay things out right guys so if we come out the back door right here I'm on my deck hanging out do my thing you know, go down the steps and then I want to go over to the shed. Well, we're going to have an awning, right? Over the deck. Well, what if I need to go to the other side of the shed? Well, now I'm going to have to walk all the way around to get to the back. We need a pathway right here. Yeah, we need some. Got the, got the deck with an awning. I'm on the deck. Right? And then a little pathway in between the family room shed and the deck. So that we can come out in the backyard and just we can walk this way we need to get back here because over here like i said if this is slab 12 by 20 slabs gonna be 20 by 20. okay this is where the firewood's gonna be as of right now 
just for trying to get thought process, right? Build a lean-to next to the other shed. Put all the firewood in there, it's nice and dry. Easy to get, Easy to get to, so it's right out over here. But so, no yeah, so let me measure really quick, babe, I think. So right now we're 12 feet off of the house. So 12 feet off. Yeah, 12 feet, we need to go 20 feet. 20 feet from the house? I mean, 18 feet total. It's all right, we knew this was gonna have to happen. I'd rather do it now than when the sheds are here. It's not even that much moving, it's just a little bit. And yes, I know I'm supposed to use a sledgehammer, guys, but I can't find my sledgehammer, so I'm stuck using my framing hammer right now. It's all right. Just tapping them in. Guys. Tapping them in a little bit, and like we said, the ground is still soft, very soft. Just so we took advantage of the rain last night, and we collected some fresh rainwater to drink. <laughs> it's nice. It's refreshing. So Anthony's getting the string laid out and try to move it down yeah we moved it down so now there's a bigger space in between the two jana's loafing in the family room no yeah surprise surprise not jana, not jana. she never loafs <laughs> all right finished marking that i should probably put some where's that Tape stuff out, babe. Yeah. Here we'll mark. Uh, we'll mark the string with this pink, this pink marking tape. That way we can see it. We can. We'll be able to see it better too. All right, we marked these up. Maybe you guys can see them better now. It was even hard for me to see them sometimes, yeah. but maybe you can see them better now. But see the markings, the orange. Still kind of hard to see, but. Anyway, I can see it better in person, so. <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah, so here's the plans, right? What are you thinking so far, baby? Like the way it's looking? Yeah, it's looking very nice. Um, like you said, we uh, mentioned trees we're going to have to get rid of. So when they come back out here to do Simple Life Reclaimed uh, basement, we'll... Uh, yeah, this this, this pine's going to... It doesn't have to go. No, but look, it takes up... Come on. It's going to be the front door right here. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of... It's, the deck's only going to come out to like right here. Might not need to go. I always wanted like a wrap around bench, right? <laughs> around a tree. I think that would be really cool. That one or that And that would be cool. Imagine it, look, imagine it with grass around it, right? In the backyard. The only thing that would be kind of eh about having it there is for like our backyard garden area. That's kind of in the way, but not. We could, we're our, I mean, we're in the mountains. Or we have, I we were, like, we're, doing we're doing both. both. We're doing. Well, because we're that. Um, that's still our area up there. Can't we put the gardens over there and then we just have all this just straight up just a backyard? Yeah, we can. I mean, because you were talking about building the raised garden get raised bar, garden, garden bed. beds. Yes, between. we can do that. We can do that up there. Look, all we're trying to decide is should this pine tree stay. With the way it's the way it's, the way we have it set up right now, even though this is a rough, like when the foundations put in and all that stuff, it's going to be very precise. Obviously, okay, we could do it to where that pine stays. So the slab, guys, like I said, is going to go out roughly about eight feet, about right here from that from right here, the slab, 
and then all the way over. And that will give us in this back area a spot to put our trash cans, um, the lean-to for the firewood. Plus we have this open area like this, except for these fallen trees right now, but to come in, if we keep some spot open with the garden, to be able to come around with a truck or something and come down this way, to be able to load the firewood. I mean, even with a four-wheeler uh, four or something, you know? And over here on this area, we'll gravel and make it our parking area. So we'd come in the road right here and just turn in and park. And then we'll be on the side of the house. The house will be right here. Yeah, the house. And then like right here is where we can park our vehicles and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we can have a greenhouse over here because it's kind of shaded. It'll still get hot or over there. I'm thinking now that we laid this out, um, way back over here can be where the chickens are at, way away from the house, way away. Well, you'll still have all of that too in the front. I know, but the front I want for garden. Seriously, baby. I think just a gigantic, massive garden is what I'd like. I mean, if worst case scenario too, not worst case, I guess, but another option we have which we talked about it when um, Rooster was here, is clearing a little bit more back. Yeah, if we had to, but I mean, we're pretty, I mean, now that I'm looking at the dimensions laid out, like, man, we got tons of room. And, well, we have all like, of this right here. Yeah, backyard. and this would be all grass eventually, hopefully. And I, I, you know, we can put a pool in here and we did talk about clearing mm -hmm. the overgrown stuff in there. Yeah, we want to clear the overgrown stuff in here so it's more foresty and not just bushes and vines everywhere you can't even walk through there it's crazy right but that's okay greenhouse can go right over here in between these two the big oak True, yeah. way back over here lots of possibilities guys well, I was thinking a pool. yeah you get a pool over here on the side of the shed yeah i was thinking or right in here or right in here well you don't want it too close to this because all the leaves will just fall on it all the time I'm just thinking, you know. No, I know, yeah. Ideas. This cedar can even disappear. Really, it could. Yeah. The two cedars. Yeah, the cedar that... Cedars breed ticks, man. That's where they hang out. But next step is done, guys, at least for right this moment. We have a vision now, kind of. Yeah, we're going to have to come out here and get some more vision. But looking at the landscape, man, it's going to be awesome. We're gonna have so much room for me, Wyatt, and Roxanne. Oh, we still have 41.36 Yeah, well, I'm talking about the house in general. Our leading quarter space. I think putting a separate shed, guys, I think that's a very smart idea for us, personally. Oh, yeah. Well, we can, like we've mentioned before, and we've always had like a family gaming room area in every house we've had. Yeah. Since we've been married. Mm -hmm. And I would be like really weird not to have one. What do you guys think we should do with this back area? You guys have any opinions? Let me know. So here's, our, like I said, here's our backyard. I know you guys seen it, but what should we do over here? Imagine there's a shed right here. 12 by 20 shed. What should we do back here? Where do you guys think from what you see, where should we put the animals? I'm thinking back here behind this shed. Do some animal pens. What about the greenhouse? I know our garden is going to be up here. Up, up where the road's at. But we have this whole area over here. we got to have a backyard. Yeah. Well, we are going to have a backyard, all this. But little things that we want to do. We're going to pick spots for it. But that's way down the road. But let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What you think. If this is your house or your land, um, where would you put stuff? Maybe there's something we haven't thought about. I'm sure there is. We don't know everything. We're pretty dumb when it comes to stuff. We're learning as we go. But let us know what you guys think. We're still gonna get some more ideas down. We'll let you guys know about them as they come in. We don't have any room dimension sizes or yeah. layout of our house or anything. This is just the, the size of the house. There is a couple of subscribers. They actually sent us floor plans mm -hmm. for a 16 by 48 which you guys know who you are if you see this video. Thank you very much for that. We do appreciate that yeah. a lot. Um, and it's funny because both of those that we got 
are very, very similar to what we were already thinking. Yeah. With minor differences, right? Yeah. And so we're like, man, how nice are these people to send us this, you know, just ran randomly wanting to help like that. So we appreciate you guys. Yes, thank you. But we'll let you guys know more when it comes in and we're going to think of more stuff on our own right now and we will get back to you guys but other than that you guys have yourself a wonderful day thank you for watching this video and we will see you guys in the next one bye